Hello, my best town friends and ladies. Welcome back to some more Naroth, apparently. So, apparently, that wasn't the end. The end was, I was supposed to <clears throat> investigate his body, bring something back to Sanor, and she has other missions for me and all that stuff. So, Egon Olsen told me this in the comments that I missed something. So, I'm here already. So, let's do this. Let us investigate his body. And there it is. Wow. That is a quest item. Yes, it is. A letter from my mother to my father. Very yellowed and hard to read. It carries a very nice seal. All right. I am going to cut this out until I make it to Sanor. So I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, I'm back with Sanor right in front of me, so I'm going to give it to her finally. So let's see what happens. Ah, this is a different text dialogue. Pardon my interruption, but I'm curious. Was there anything in the demon's possession? A great sword or anything? No sword, but I did find a letter from my father and to my father. Bizarre coincidence or fate. I do know that higher demons often require a personal item from the former lives of a body to inhabit a most powerful body. But why would your father have been one really strange? Is that a coincidence or is it a fate? Higher beings like this, demons sometimes require personal things from the former lives of the undead. If they want to control really powerful undead but why should your father be one? Oh, what I am saying I just show me the letters let me see it hmm there's not much here I can read and most of it says nothing important what I like the most is the pretty seal added to the letter so well crafted crimson red wax with gold detailing this is done by a true craftsman there is a man in the southeast corner of Naroth with a large collection of seals, and he might recognize who crafted this one. His name is Akanar. Take the letter to him, friend. Show him the wax seal. Ask him who made it. Thank you, Senor. Uh, I have come so far trying to find my father. I won't stop now. Goodbye, Senor, and thank you for everything. So now there's a different quest. All right. Sinor. Southeast. Um, hmm. Southeast, right? Oh, that's behind me, right? So southeast is down here, and I'm north. Let me check the map. So southeast is right here. My guess it's right here. He lives in a hut down here. So southeast. That's where I'm going. Says he lives in a hut. So it's got to be up here then. Southeast. Are you one of them? Not you. Are you one of them? No. So it has to be southeast, right? This way. I'm going down here. Ah, is this it? It's got to be it. He lives in a hut, so... This has got to be him. Ah ha ha ha! I'm lucky. Akanor. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I don't know. Yes, what do you want from me? I, I'm just a retired old man. I have nothing for you. I have an old letter with a remarkable wax seal on it. Someone told me. Yeah, this one. A seal? Why didn't you say so? I love wax seals. 
and stamps and emblems. I collect them. I study them, and I once made many of my own. Please let me see it. Here, have a look. This letter once belonged to my father. If you can help me find who made the seal, I might have another clue to finding the truth about his life. Hmm. Beautiful. Work here. Whoever made this seal knew their craft. There's a letter J above and a intrica, intricately, I, I don't know. Sorry for not pronouncing things right, guys. It's a intricately, I don't know. Gold gri, griffon soaring through the open skies of Naroth. It reminds me of the seals I had once made. I see it. It's hard to believe such a design can carved into a wooden stamp and molded into a hot wax. It's truly impressive. You say you've made seals like these ones? Well, actually, I was going to mention that it looks like my own work. I don't think it is, but the seal is comprised of all the elements of the seals I've done. See the detail the stamp had left in the wax? The, the way the light gently reflects off of the dark red color. The gold flakes in the detail of the griffon. This seal just like the ones I had once made. Or did I even make them? <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know any longer. My memory of what happened in my past fades further every day. No, no. I'm sure of it now. There's this seal was made by me. Where did where did you find this? Uh well, father. Oh my god, this is the ending. All right. Let me move this. This is the ending of the game. That's pretty cool. I like it. This is a real conclusion. Very cool. Very cool. <sighs> so we're zooming out of the map. Great details. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Zooming back into the hut. Yep. Hey, I see you there, Crow. Can't hide from me. Yeah, you fly away. Pfft. See, I blew it when it flew away. Oh. That's the real ending. Ooh, cool. So, Egon Olsen, you are the best creator. So, I'm going to give you my real review for this. So, just ignore the last video I had review for so yeah this game is really fun it reminds me of a, a little bit of Skyrim if you guys ever played that so I love the detail of this game it's really good and I like some of the music here and there like the ambient creepy music which I do like in the labyrinths and uh I like the funny ass dialogue when you uh, interact with them they go rah, 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 rah. I do that every single time you know. Oh, there's your free sound right there. And music. Anyway, so... Those are the only things positive about it. It looks cool. The weapons look cool. And music is awesome. Graphics hold up. Alright, let's move on to the negatives. So, the first negative... Um, I do not like the map system. I have to take points off. Sorry, Egon Olsen. So... It's so very fucking confusing where you need to go next, so that really pisses me off. So I still can't figure out the side missions and stuff. And, uh, 
Oh, look, Samsung Galaxy. I think I have one of them. Anyway, so, yeah, that's my griping negative. And my negative was there's a little bit of a slowdown here and there. Um, there's, like, so many enemies, like, big enemies that slow down the frame rate a little bit. And, uh, and I don't like the people being angry all the time with their face and all that stuff. Um, apparently I got a level up, so I'm going to do that real quick. <laughs> it doesn't matter now. I've completed the game. So I'll get this last level up. There you go. Anyway, so I think that's it for the quest. So that's it. I try to do that mission. I tried everything else. But anyway, so those are my only griping negatives I have with this game. So, well, if the developer, developer makes another sequel like this, which I like. So, this game reminds me of a little bit of Skyrim. So, I like the game of everything, but but taking points off I, with a couple of negatives I just told, so... This is still a fun game, guys. I, I still recommend this game. It's a really good RPG game. So, uh, I can finally move on to other games now, so... You guys are gonna miss this glitching out sword. There you go. <laughs> I'll keep it glitching out for you guys. Anyway, um, I can finally end the series now, so this is the true conclusion to this game. Anyway, I'm gonna finally end the complete end the Neroth playthrough series here. Anyway, subscribe to me if you haven't. Click the bell to get notified of the next video and comment like about this. And yes, most importantly, share this last video so I get more views and subscribers and I will see you on my next playthrough guys so hopefully the next one's better than this one so I will see you later my best friends and ladies